So we get asked all the time about the dimpling on the pistons and what it does and how it works. A lot of people make comparisons between a golf ball. It's pretty obvious when we see dimples, we think of golf balls. The physics are similar, but we're doing it for different reasons. And the golf ball, we have something called a Magnus effect and how the sphere spins through space as it goes through a fluid. We also are looking at drag reduction so the thing flies farther. So a golf ball flies straight or flies farther because of dimples. We're not really doing aerodynamic drag reduction on a piston. What we're doing is influencing the thermophysical boundary layer upon the crown of the piston. So instead of having a thick laminar flow, we make sort of a tightly bound, thin, turbulent flow across the piston crown. So it promotes micro mixing at the, at the boundary wall or at the surface of the piston, which gives us some better uh, combustion mechanics. Additionally, uh, what the dimples really do, and we see the most benefit out of is they reduce heat. So as a fluid moves across a dimple, it's sort of sucking heat out of the combustion chamber uh, more quickly. So it's just about the ability of the piston crown to dissipate heat more efficiently, which is part of the reason that we're reducing EGTs.